Leeds and Gibbons. Uh, time to start monkeying around, I reckon. Let's have a listen to it and see what it does. After all that bending, I would uh, think that it'll probably need tuning up again, so let's see if it'll do its part piece for us. We'll uh, press the button and give it a strum. Do you know, people moan about them, but it's just, it's easy. And especially if you're on stage where everybody else is making a round. Right, onward. So surely this is pick up time and we will start with the noisy or distorted on the bridge position. <laughs> Jolly good look round. 
and from Sim to Stern meetings. So, uh, at the top here, obviously you've got the, it's the uh, 2015, which would have been the year when Les Paul would have turned 100. And uh, so we have his signature and the 100 thing on the headstock there. You'll know with uh, long Gibsons, more or less, I seem to think, yes, most Gibsons, some get a few no it's no it's most it's definitely most um the, you see this black line here that's because that's actually a, a veneer that's bunged on top so what you can do if you don't like that lp100 i think they're about 30 quid from the luthier supplies in germany and you can get a one that just that's just got gibson and Les paul here so there's that and then around the back of course we've got the well, that only a mother could love to be quite honest. The Tronicle system, but they work, and you can't tell from the front, can you? They are really, really good, and especially, as I say, in a live situation. We're always so. If you are in the market for one of these, make sure these things work. That's all part of the fun. Uh, we've got the Les Paul hologram here. Always make sure that uh, this. Uh, stop doing that. Make sure that this area is intact. It's the most fragile bit. I did have a look at an SG that said, so, you know, if you're buying off eBay or Reverb, really pay attention to what's going on. Uh, I saw an advert for an SG that said, uh, it's, there was almost no words in the advert at all. It said, please do the photos as they form the best part of the description. And, the, and had I not had the thing under the microscope, I would not have noticed the crack in the headstock that went from the centre of the volutes up to, roughly, the uh, D string tuning peg. So, you know, watch out for stuff like that. This one's not been played, really. Uh, it belonged to a rather senior gentleman uh, who bought it from you with a bag. Now, these were offered in 2015 with the optional extra of the gold concept case. And the gold concept cases are rather beautiful in their own right, I am. Oh, now, it's got that typical Gibson feature in the body. Can you see it? The striations in the paintwork uh, and see them down here, down here, down here. They're all over the shop. They're even on the back and I think on the neck as well. And this is not, so here we are again, buying tips. If you see that, don't let it put you off. It's not a deal breaker by any stretch. It's a feature, it happens with Gibsons. Don't know why, anyway. Uh, exhaust port is in the side, which is a great location. And we've just got one tone and one volume. And of course, a three position toggle switch, which is in a good location. Lightning bolt wraparound bridge. And those P90s are, we honestly, they are absolute, they are brutal. Uh, but uh, brutal and brilliant, I love them. So yeah, all mahogany, uh, you've got a mahogany neck set into a mahogany body. It's a double cut and it, they really are great guitars. They don't weigh loads. They're kind of not, not that cheap. But then again, if you get a gold concept case, I think they're like a couple of hundred quid's worth probably. So, uh, yeah, this one comes with uh, new strings and it pl the action is exactly where we want it. It's at 1.25 at the 12th. Uh, it's fitted with a, I think it's a set either 9042s, 9042s, yeah, 9042s, I think it is. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, no. Oh, and the other thing that I must mention is the zero fret brass nut. Every guitar in existence should be fitted with one of these. There's two little um, uh, Allen key uh, grub screws under here. You can see the holes there. And you can adjust the height of the nut and obviously the corresponding zero fret uh, at will. I mean, really, on the fly, it's easy, easy, easy peasy. And by the way, they might look ugly, these things, the G-Force tuners, but make string changes significantly easier. Mm, yeah, that's one that you didn't see coming. Right, well, thank you all ever so much for tuning in, and I hope that that was useful to you, and I shall see you next time. Adios, amigos. Ta-ra.